So if we look at these time clocks, here's what we have. I was gonna do a video explaining how to how to fix your your setup, but it, uh, I knew I had this job coming up, so I figured I'd take a look at it and see if I can send a video. So what you have is you got your two hots coming in from the breaker, and they feed into the line sides, which are one and three. Okay, and then um, on the load side is the uh, is the pump. Um, and then uh, what you have is the, the white lines here. You got two that feed up to the time clock in order to run it. And then you have two from the others, from the other time clock that run down in order to feed it. Um, then the other thing that you have is on the load side, you have, uh, you got your two lines that go down to the pump for the main pump. And then we have two more going to the line side on um, on the booster pump. So here's what's happening here: is we have the two white lines that feed up to the clock, to feed the clock, and then we have the two white lines from here that feed this clock as well. Now one and three has the um, uh, has the hots from the breaker, and then two and four. What you have is you got the line side for this clock. Um, one and three that come from two and four so it's on, so it's the load of this clock that uh, feeds to this to be the line side and then on the load side you have um, these two blue wires on two and four go down to the um, uh, go down to the booster pump these other blue lines they just go to a salt system that's hooked up but that's uh, not required for your setup so what you need is on the line you have uh, for the first time clock you have your incoming power from the breaker and then you also are powering your both your time clocks and then on the load side for the main clock you're going to the pump your main pump as well as you're feeding the line side of the secondary time clock and then on the load side you have your booster pump um so hopefully that wasn't too confusing but uh there you go that's the setup